So for today's item request, we have uh, Droop Seven One Us. Is that supposed to spell something leet? I guess so. Uh, he said a giant hipster blue banana that has a granny head on it with four donuts for wheels and have a dragon head on top of the granny head. And so uh, you probably saw before I started the object editor up is that uh, there was like a little test dummy version or of this or whatever. It was uh, not a test dummy, but I guess just a test version of this item where, uh, yes, there was the little blue banana and the green and the granny and everything, but it didn't roll around like a car. So that one, yes, was the test. And uh, so we've got the donuts for wheels here. We've basically just typed in car, of course, as the base item or whatever. And so you can use this to get where you want the wheels to go and get the body shape and everything. And that's what this will do. And so I've, of course, made a blue banana or whatever to cover up the body of the car. And uh, so that the heads get, you know, in the right place, you should place them. Uh, you know, you obviously can't place them far away or whatever, because it has to be attached to the object at some point. And so you you just kind of place them at the base of the car here like I've done and uh, then move them with these little arrows they're off to the left you can see that uh, you know there's an up arrow a right arrow a left arrow a down arrow you can use that to make little micro movements and everything or you can make it uh, just basically move all the way across the editing plane so here we're gonna name it we've got giant blue hipster I don't even know how this is hipster I don't you know you can make the adjective hipster and it doesn't do a whole lot in the game I don't think but uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this and of course we're gonna change the audio up. We're gonna make it sound like a banana. I don't yeah That doesn't have any audio <laughs> So it's not gonna have any audio I guess if we just leave it as a banana objects are reacting to it like a car I don't think that matters a whole lot We've uh, turned the movement speed up just a little bit and these donut wheels right here are supposed to imply that there's four I mean obviously two on either side, right? <laughs> so you can see the little test one down there It just kind of hops around but this one we can operate it like a car. I think that uh, droop 71 us one uh, he probably intended for this to be like an alive object or whatever so that it can move around on its own So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just edit a few more things just say this object is alive It's alive and then we're gonna change the movement speed. I just wanted to move a little bit faster. There we go So now we can save it. We'll place it down on the field. Oh Yeah, there it goes <laughs> So now we've got this moving car type thing or whatever. <laughs> All right, so one request down. The next request comes from Takashi Seal, who said, Could you make a black armlet that shoots needles or darts? One similar to Rico Rodriguez's arm in Just Cause 2. It would be cool that if it didn't shoot needles, it could be made from the grappling hook and shoot grappling hook shots instead. That's what I really want. Well, that's what you really want. That's what we're going to deliver. So we've got a grappling hook here, and we'll go into the object editor with it. So I, I have not played Just Cause 2. Yes, I, Dr. Kendo hasn't played a lot of games, but I also have played a lot of games. So if you're going to comment on that, don't even bother, actually. And the Just Cause, I have researched the just the look of it and everything. It is, it's more like it goes with, like, fingerless gloves or whatever that he's got or something. You know, it is like an armlet. You know, it goes on his arm. Uh, with this, it'll be more like he's holding a grappling hook gun because that's what the object is that we're editing so it's not going to be completely you know to uh the specifications of just cause or anything like that but it has these like spikes on the top of it and then it has this hook shape in the front like tusks almost and uh this is very similar so what i've done here of course is the top the spikes are fang that's one of my favorite stamp items is fang and then these hooks in the front is literally just what you do with like hook or fishing hook or whatever so we've got it with a hook right there and so what i'm doing here actually for the back of it um it has a like scorpion looking tail on the back and so that's literally what I've done is you type in scorpion and you can stamp like all the different types of pieces of a scorpion and so the scorpion in this game has about three or four different parts for his tail. I've actually just taken that and basically grabbed the pieces, you know, piece by piece, just taking them in. And so, of course, the end has the little stinger on it. And so everything that I just mentioned is like this metallic, you know, color or whatever. So I'm just painting it this like silvery gray. And uh, let's name this. We're going to go ahead and name it uh, the Just Cause armlet that's fine <laughs> we'll do that and so we'll see it in action I actually did test though to see if I could do it with the fingerless gloves in this game so that's actually what you can see down to the right of Maxwell right now my character on the ground but here's our awesome just cause 2 dart thing hopefully it's up to Takashi seal standards uh, you can actually we can test it we can use it yeah right there <laughs> so there we can harpoon things and grab them so that's pretty cool as you can see though yeah right here I'm clicking on it uh, the it looks really cool this 
it's like it this is what it looks like in just cause 2 it's as if it's like his armlet or whatever in the game that's what it looks like and it is on his left arm like that so that's why I did it that way I wish I could have made it work I have all the projectiles on and stuff like that but after a lot of messing around with it I, I just didn't really get it and Takashi Seal actually asked me to start with the grappling hook and so that's why I have made the item from the grappling hook from now on if people are commenting saying how I could have done something better make it on your damn channel and please do not bother me with that because I'm actually one of the few youtubers who responds to every single comment that's given out there and so if you're gonna have like the rude attitude enough to like try and correct me about things and whatnot and like troll me about it when I ask that you don't I am now just gonna refer you to this part of the video where I'm talking about this and that's it I'm not gonna say anything else unless your comment entails more or whatever that I can answer to but seriously I I don't know, I, I ask people not to give me their corrections or whatever because this is how I create the items and so it's coming from me, so this is my perspective, not the perspective of some trolls on YouTube. And I think what's happening is that, of course, just my channel is gaining a lot of recognition because this shit is dope and what I create is awesome and so it's getting recognized and so with that also brings the trolls because the trolls come out at night and they come to feed on whatever's dope and fresh and innovative. So with more fame also comes more trolls. And with that, I love all of my subscribers and the ones who support me. You guys are the bomb. Forgive me through this whole episode, I've got some allergies and stuff, so if I sound kind of nasally or sick in any kind of way, that's the reason. But I'm sure it'll be over soon, just like this episode, so I'll catch you on the next vid. Thanks for viewing. Been down the road of twists and turns, always anxious to see what's within. We can look ahead to the point of no return, to the rest of our lives as a spectacle we give. Been down the road of twists and turns, always anxious to see what's within. We can look ahead to the point of no return, to the rest of our lives with the spectacle begin.